Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Democracy 3, episode number 4 in our short, quick Let's Play series. Budget has gone down. I was looking at health up, good, crime down, good, unemployment up, although homelessness is at an end. So we kind of have this weird kickback situation where unemployment will lead to homelessness. And the homelessness situation has now ended, so we're going to have to watch out for the revival of homelessness. And I think for unemployment, although our budget is... I mean, I'm guessing that the uh, global economy has taken a nosedive. Yeah, so there it is. She's going to full-on depression. Full-on landslide of the global economy. So our relative GDP is not doing that great either and expenditures are up so there's something amiss here <clears throat> let's go take a look we also have a child labor laws which i i didn't um point out uh kind of so this proposed law would make it a criminal offense to knowingly employ someone under 16 for more than 15 for more than five hours a week uh, i'm going to say criminalize it because look at this also, we run the risk of criminalizing small businessmen who may not know the age of the people they employ on a casual basis, which seems to fly right in the face of knowingly employ. So we'll choose that. Also, I think it helps education, which could help with homelessness. Who knows? Parents like us a little bit more. That's good. Maybe parents like us because of the child labor law. Hooray! We did something which does not annoy the... This is the first time we almost have everyone, almost have everyone out of the red, which is pretty substantial. I don't think we can go up anymore on the telecommuting, telecommuting initiative, but uh, parents, what do we... We've got to stop something here for the, the, the poor parents, man. What is causing this? Narcotics, state health, unemployment... Poverty. Okay, so what if we just shoot ourselves in the foot financially and end up taking our huge uptick in state health? I think we already did this recently. Uh, what about education? State education looks like, there it is, just like that. This one has also already been increased. Oh boy. Well, what the heck are we going to do? And we don't really have a means of securing more of a surplus which is also bad because I, I mean I haven't even boosted the space program all the way which is you know in my opinion a great one to get unemployment down <sighs> just too many different things to do all right well let's let me um I you know I'm actually gonna pause real fast and go through every icon to see what we can possibly modify before we look at stuff that's new all right, I went through everything, and I don't think there's a lot to be modified. There's the space program, if, like a couple things like that, the tax ones. The thing is with the tax ones that the only benefit we get out of increasing the inheritance tax is not really worth it. We really hurt middle income a lot to increase this. Is this the one, 16? Yeah. Uh, so we can get a little bit more money out of inheritance. What I'm actually thinking is that we should go for the car tax because this will reduce car usage, and that will also positively impact the environment um farmers and who who else commuters no motorists yeah i don't understand how motorists even like us at all because we have just been slashing them everywhere <laughs> so maybe we can uh supplement that with biofuel subsidies maybe increase this a little bit more Ooh, food price goes up though i don't not a big fan of that right of course that makes sense food price goes up because it's biofuel <clears throat> but the farmers like it, and let's see, how much is this going to increase? This is only like $2 million, or $2 billion, I should say. Yeah, I think, I think we have a positive trade-off here. We can increase the car on taxes pretty substantially. Um, let's see, we're at $20 billion right now. We don't have to scroll. This is all the effects we see. What if we go up to like 70? 20 to 70. Motorists will like us a lot less, a lot less car usage, a lot less motorist membership, which is good because then there won't be as many people disliking us. And only a small impact on farmers, honestly. Pretty decent impact. Like, what if I just set this to max? What are we really looking at here? Motorists are not going to like us a lot. Farmers just don't really seem to care that much, but 20, 100. So this basically increases our budget by like 70. Now, 
I don't think it's necessarily worth it because in the end, car taxes, once the motorist, motorist membership goes down, I'm assuming with less car usage, there'll be less car tax. I'm not exactly sure what this income is based on. Um, we can actually see income history. Yeah, influences are just car usage. So we are, you're, it's kind of, I like this. I really do like this system. You have a system where the car tax decreases the car usage, which will therefore decrease future car tax. Uh, I think that's a good feedback system. That's a, that's a nice complex system that doesn't just let you get away with free money. Let's stick, I'm just gonna go crazy on this one. I know that the motorists are not gonna like me, but we have hopefully, oh man. Hopefully other way of appeasing the motorists. Is it linear? Uh, let's just check if it's linear first. At max, it's 18.7. And at the middle-ish, if it's nine or so, no, it's 12. Oh, okay, but it starts at 4.5. So the middle of 4.5 and 18.5, let's just call it, is, uh, what's the middle of 14? <laughs> Seven, right? So we're expecting this to be 11. Is that what it was? It is. Okay, good. So it is just a linear scale with motorists. I like to just see what the scaling is. So, nah, you know what? We're going to go full bore. Why not? We'll see how bad that does for us. Um, the commuters are the commuters are still going to like us, and we can probably find a way. So we can probably look at the motorists are really going to like us if we spend. Oh my god, all the money we just. This is kind of interesting. Environmentalists won't like it. Traffic congestion goes down and unemployment goes up. It's not going to be my first first change. Actually, the thing I would like to do is I'd like to get rid of school vouchers. Uh, okay, well, first of all, let's start off with armed police. This is another one of them. So we have almost no violent crime. Almost none. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale back our armed police. This is not going to save very much money, and we can't lower it 19. Okay, so we actually have to uh, do something else or end the turn. Can't do that. I also want to change the creationism versus evolution, because liberals will like me a little bit more. And we actually are starting to make headway with liberals, but I'm assuming that there's still a substantial, yeah, there's 65% of the population. We really need the liberals to like us a little bit more. So we'll just, I guess we're only gonna institute that tax and then that was 70, this is, okay. I think we do this to try to combat um, unemployment. What is the difference? Extremely small. But I've always wanted to increase the space program. I feel like technological advantage, technology, state employees, Patriot, Patriot, Patriot membership. This is just like a good thing. So I will not apply this because we don't have capital. Okay, good. Uh, what are the other things I was thinking about doing? Probably any of the taxes are not going to be worth, uh, cap we will not be capable of impacting those. There's this prisoner tagging thing, which, you know, it doesn't cost any money. It just pisses off the liberals. Again, it doesn't, I don't know. What's our political capital situation like? Okay, so essentially Diane Lopez is a real dud. She's only given us one. Is there, I think we already checked, but is there anybody else in foreign affairs that we could hire? Foreign policy? Yeah, Scott Jackson would give me 3.7 at least. Um, let's see what Paul James would be. 2.3, that's not good. Well, we got to look with somebody who has more than 3.7, because otherwise they're not worth hiring. Eugene Ross, 3.2. Yeah, there's nobody here. That's the only one. Oh, this guy's pretty good, though. A lot of experience. Lewis Morgan will be my backup for the next position if he qualifies. I you know if it's a, one of the things. So we might, I think we might benefit from firing. Her efficiency is okay, but again, foreign affairs is like, in my opinion, foreign policy is the least important one. We have these border controls. I don't think we'll be changing this. This is the one where we can go down to random. I, I don't mind decreasing this. I honestly don't. But, oh, I mean, I guess we could lower it. This decreases the negative on immigration, so it increases immigration. Ethnic minorities get are happier. Tourism goes up, and patriots go down a little bit. Yeah, don't. I think we ought to just. I mean, I'm not gonna try to read the random passport checks here. From a min max standpoint, this seems like the best thing to do. So let's apply that. That'll be everything else we do for the turn. 
Um, yeah, then efficiency here, probably another thing we could do is, I guess this is, oh, the only problem is this has such a lovely impact on unemployment. Um, another thing, obesity is gone. And this is gonna have a nice impact on, uh, so we'll have higher health and importantly, we'll have less state health service fees. So hopefully those things translate into an increase, even though our relative GDP is dropping, hopefully we have an increase in budget. I'm actually just hoping it doesn't drop too much. I still think it'll be dropping with the world economy, but I don't know why relative GDP is dropping. Maybe tax related. It's a mystery. Oh my good Lord, holy cow. Okay, rare earth crisis has and we have a flash crash, which is... Oh man, this happened again? Huh. Well, that's really annoying. Obesity is at an end, but we have a new one, which is going to be... This is basically just year technology. I mean, the more technology you have, the more this goes up. I think there are ways of combating this, though. I think there's an easy way of combating it. Rare Earth Crisis. It's one of the environmental options. We'll look. Anyways, obesity is now at an end, which is important uh global economy is in a recession it's having a negative impact and yeah oh we did it we we beat it okay so the the i forgot about the tax increase from the cars of course we're we really ought to have been have a surplus but actually the surplus is almost exactly equal to the amount of car tax we're now gaining and look at that relative gdp that's because of the crash the flash crash oh boy okay anyway there's no more okay there's no more yeah okay 25 oh my gosh so you are so effective at tax i will not relieve you liberal and parents oh my god those are two people i'm i'm not making extremely happy so how can we make the asthma epidemic go away because it's it's on the it's on the down and i think that obviously that has something to do with the environment which is gdp related but this has a negative on parents and productivity i, th I mean just increases no, no, car usage is a, an impact. So maybe that's what caused it, not the increase in environment, but it's also a feedback system. Doesn't car usage here? Yeah, so car use is a double, <laughs> it's, it's a double negative. This impacts the asthma epidemic directly. It also makes the environment worse, which then also makes the asthma epidemic worse. So it's always good. I mean, clean energy subsidies are just gonna take a while to go into effect, but we have, I mean, we I think we have a lot of things in place to improve the environment. And GDP going down, obviously, is going to have a nice impact, as I mentioned. Um, rare Earth Crisis. So, yeah, let's try to see if we can get around this one. There's there's some way of getting it around it. I can't remember which one it is, and hopefully I'll just see it. We could do import tariffs. Hey, everyone wants import tariffs. They're only going to give us $4 billion. I don't think that's worth it. We don't really need what, what's popular. We should just be doing what's best. Because um, people, um, I think the welfare fraud department actually helps the middle income. So okay, I have an I have a crazy idea. We can increase the income tax, which is you know, not going to be well received by the middle income. I mean, it's so crazy. We can't raise it. We're we're actually gonna have to wait another term. But it's so crazy that. A 722, just a small increase. So we go up to 40. And we're up like, it's like 200, almost $200 billion of income. Now, what are the negatives? Honestly, not that much. Surprisingly, not that much, I would say. Capitalists won't like it. Socialists and, and the equality people will. I don't really know what in internet currency adoption does. Probably... Okay, effects, income tax. I, I guess it would have a, a negative on income tax, a negative on corporate tax, and a negative on sales tax. Okay, so we do not want cryptocurrencies adopted, I guess. Um, yeah, anyway, but I don't see a way around. I mean, this is one way to solve a lot of issues, but we're going to need the money to do it. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to increase our spending first and then hope we can get back the other one so i mean we'll, we'll just plan to increase the sales tax later to compensate but because what was that that the middle income is going to like i already forgot 
Oh, yeah, they're not going to like it even. I mean, it's not going to be that big of a deal for them, but the welfare fraud department. So I think poor people don't like this. Let's just implement this first. So we're going with undercover investigators for our welfare fraud. <laughs> poor people don't like it, but conservatives and middle income do. And it technically, yeah, we lose money. Never mind. <laughs> That's fine. I'll still do it. Just to make the middle income happy because they're about to become very unhappy. Now with 21, I store up a maximum of 42. Wow, yeah. Foreign Affairs, I don't... What is the... Okay, effectiveness is 50. Effects minus 5. And the time plus 5. It's just for effects. I don't think this is a... I mean, I guess the biggest thing it does is have an impact on the military side of things. I, I think we got to get rid of Diane. And you know what? The sooner we do it, the better. We're going to fire her, and we are going to hire Scott Jackson. Yeah, and he's already somewhat effective, which is fantastic. Perfect. Ethnic minorities and conservatives? Well, conservatives should be happy, I think. Last I checked. Boy, liberal, I would expect conservatives to be right there. Okay, conservatives are extreme. He, this guy's happy. <laughs> no need to worry about him. He's They're happy. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, ethnic minorities. And they're also happy. Wow, wow, we did great. Okay, that's good. So we will have more political capital next turn, maybe. Capital in term is 20. Oh, I forgot when you fire somebody, everybody else's goes down. That was... I forgot about that. Well, hopefully their loyalties will rebound after I don't fire anybody else for a while. So I forgot about that. Live and learn. So we're at 20 and our maximum is 42. So yeah, technically we can end the turn and not have a negative effect. But let me see if there's anything else, anything else I want to implement. I still don't really understand the effects of tourism. I haven't really gotten that. Uh, let's see. We want stuff to increase GDP. Robotic research grants, I suppose that those probably would. Pretty expensive, unfortunately. No, I don't think any of those are necessary. We can implement a plastic bag tax, which will have technically a positive effect overall. Um, yeah, let's do it. I know that this is going to be a not wild, wildly popular, but hey, environmentalists like it. It gives us one billion a turn, whatever. It's it's I think a net positive. Microgeneration grants. This is important. So there we go. CO2, the environment. This is the one we were looking for. I should have done this a while ago. And with our six, we'll hit next. I don't even think we'll have enough to raise income tax this next turn. Okay, GDP's up. Unemployment is skyrocketing. What the hell? Alcohol abuse is at an end. Technology advantage is at an end. High productivity has developed, which is good. Oh my god, it almost <laughs> it almost is at an end immediately. It causes our high productivity. Increases GDP, self-employed, capitalist, and self-employed income. I wonder why it's almost at an end already. I don't know why alcohol abuse dropped away. I didn't really... The rating was downgraded. What's going on? We're at a deficit of $150 billion. Oh my god. Well, we're going to fix that. <laughs> we're going to fix that. We're going to increase sales tax. Crime is down. Health is up. GDP is up. Unemployment's up. So, uh, we'll have to figure out how, what all the effects of this are, though. <laughs> We're, oh, God. It just, it's kind of funny. The, we tip the, the scales in one direction, but too far, or I don't know what happened. I don't know. What the hell happened here? So, our income has just plummeted. Oh, my goodness. GDP is actually going, where? If I was a smarter man, I would have been tracking... Okay, income tax has plummeted. This was at seven whatever last turn. Let's look at income history. What? Is this not reporting this turn? 570. Like we were at 720 last turn, right? Or 710 or 730? Because I, I was bringing it up to nine something. And we don't actually have enough to raise it. We're off by, what, five points. Okay. 
Um, really, really dislike the fact that I, <clears throat> I'm losing the Chancellor. Hopefully Stephen Jones. Okay, liberal and parents. The thing is, they're, they're both kind of okay. Okay, we can't even raise this. We're probably just going to have to end a turn without doing very much, which is hard for me to do. Deficit of 150 and credit rating drop, which I think, is that what has an impact on GDP? It does. It does, it does. Yeah, I don't, I mean, we, we have, I just, I'm not really sure why that happened. Am I crazy? Was this not as much as I thought? Because the expenditures actually went down significantly. GDP went up. What? Is there some other thing that I'm missing here? Technological advantage. So GDP actually went up despite technological advance dropping. But how did we lose our technological edge? I would have guessed that we have so much technology. <laughs> All right, let me see how internet crime is doing. Let me see how asthma, okay. Asthma epidemic is actually gonna go away, which means increase in productivity. Drug addiction is technically going up, not necessarily good. What's gonna reduce that? State health service. Okay, so probably we just throw all our eggs in the basket of, okay, doctor strike is gone. That's fantastic. Health and, man, there's so many different things that are gonna be improving next turn. Uh, rare earth crisis, not one of them. Is there anything we can do to get around that? There's got to be something. Okay, university grants. I think we just do this. Uh, as we lost our technological edge, skill shortage will go down. Oh, 60 billion. Education goes just so far up. I mean, everyone's so happy with this. Let's just do it. It's going to take 60 billion. Um, and what I'll have to do is next turn increase sales tax. So we'll leave this amount available so we can actually get to the sales tax. Okay, GDP's up, unemployment's down, health's up, crime's up. Hmm, huh, it's unfortunate. Pollution is down at an end, doctor's strike is down at an end, homelessness is back, and ep asthma epidemic's down at an end. So homelessness I can deal with. I think I can deal with that because unemployment, when that drops, I think homelessness will go away. Human cloning, good lord. Uh, our budget has actually decreased its deficit, which is fantastic because we didn't actually increase any of our income last turn. Yeah, our just income had some weird hiccup which I think we should be able to see what it was. I'm pretty sure it must have been the fact that technological advantage went away. I'd love to be able to see, this is one of the problems I have, is you can't see technological advantage once it goes away. You can see high productivity because it's still there. But technological advantage is gone. And we're see like technological grants, this should have an impact on technology. And this should have an impact on yeah, it doesn't it doesn't actually show it even anymore. What was it called? Yeah. Anyway, I mean technology is as high as it can be, so I don't know why technological advantage would go away. There must be some other reason. Boy, productivity is very high. Good impact on GDP, international trade. Why does that impact on employment? I don't know how to read that and high productivity. Okay, so we, we didn't lose it. We didn't go below the green line, which is the stop trigger. So we're back up of, we're, we're back up on that. That's good. I'm not seeing as many reds. This is good, skill shortage. Oh, it's gonna go away, this is perfect. Okay, so we wanna increase um, immigration to make sure that that stays that way as well. Foreign relations is gonna, what the heck does foreign relations do for me though? Uh, and increases Patriot membership? That's weird. You would think it would decrease. Oh, it, okay. This also helps with Rare Earth Crisis. Okay, well then. We're definitely going to increase it. Foreign aid? Okay, that's a lot of foreign aid. Liberals should like it, though. That's also a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, liberals being happier means hopefully Stephen Jackson or Stephen Jones here is a little happier. Why are you, oh, you're also liberal. So that's, uh, that would be a great thing to do. And we have the money to increase the, <laughs> it's back up, it's back up, but I think.
The problem with raising it is you have to like go hard on raising it since it costs so much to adjust and the amount you adjust it by is completely, uh, the, the amount it costs to adjust it political capital wise is completely independent of the amount you raise it by. So you kind of want to go as hard as you can. 45%, I mean, this is going to solve all our money problems for forever. I'm going to do it. It's a little bit crazy. I might actually have to lower it. Human cloning, we are, let's see, human cloning, one of those things that I, I would be opposed to. One of those, I mean, I I'm, should, I will try not to mention even my personal views, but I would obviously ban human cloning. But let's look at it from a game perspective. Human cloning is a logical step. We cannot stand in the way of the future. Cloning is not a natural method of progression. Practice goes against all. Interesting. So the way they frame it, they basically don't see any downside to it. Like, what's my religious standing? They're pretty good. It's very strange, actually, to me that there doesn't appear to be any perceived negatives of this. Cloning is not natural. Basically, this practice goes against... It's basically only religious. Okay. Human cloning is the next logical second human development. Well, let's try to get back our technological advantage. <laughs> and with one point left, yeah, we're not going to do anything else. Interesting. This has been a really interesting one. Oh, Chancellor resigns. Well, the good news is... <laughs> The good news is we didn't have to rehire somebody new. So we didn't have to fire him and we need somebody for tax. Oh my gosh, 4.5 tax. Look at trade union, this is not gonna be particularly good. Oh, look at that. So tax, tax 4.5 and more experience. Farmers invite him on the squam. Uh, Rebecca Watson, you're in. I'm not even gonna look at anybody else. I'm just gonna choose you. And that's going to give us a capital burden of only 20. Good lord. Uh, wrong capitalist. Okay, anyway. So GDP is up. Health is down a little bit. Crime is down. Unemployment's down. Education's up. Poverty's down. Skill shortage is now at an end, which is fantastic. Immigration sandal. This is horrible. Actually, she has found a shocking number of people during the little jobs without work permits opponents of immigration are outraged oh so this is the downside of opening the borders more okay but our credit rating was upgraded which is good and a local economy is which one it's about as low as it can i mean no that's not true it could, it could drop like another 25 percent of this bar graph area but look at we're really we're doing well look at that jet relative gdp just skyrocket Income is skyrocketing, but that's no surprise. We are taxing the crap out of our people. How is middle income taking it? They are not taking it so badly. But let's look at that income tax. No, there's not. It's an immediate effect on middle incomes. Okay. Uh, did we already do the welfare tax thing? The fraud? Is it welfare? Yeah, I guess we already did. So maybe that's what's keeping them somewhat not as unhappy. Although I don't see it. Income. Oh yeah, welfare fraud department. There it is. I mean, that's my the best thing I can. It's the only thing I can try to do. So, um, patriots, why are you guys going down? Immigration scandal. Okay, but that's okay. I mean, patriots are they love me in general, so I'm not going to be too upset about it. It's so weird that the capitalists are upset by it. Oh, art subsidy. Never mind. That's not. Uh, and this is a very long term effect. Okay, so we're not expecting that to have paid dividends for a while. Let's look at homelessness. So homelessness has been up and down, uh, up and down. I want to combat this now. I could do state housing, but I'm going to try to solve it for every way except for that. And for me, mostly it's just got to be unemployment. We have to solve unemployment, which we can do with state health and state schools. More state schools than state health. So let's go here, and we don't have enough political capital to raise that. We need 18. We only have a maximum of 20. Good lord, or 30. Good lord. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll just have to call this video to a close here because uh, we're over on time. 30 minutes, here we go. So until the next episode, we'll figure out how we want to manage the state health situation, state schools. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.